Today I'd like to talk to you about Romans 8.37. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. What does it mean to be a conqueror? It is one who subdues and brings into subjection or possession by force or by influence. So what does that mean to be more than a conqueror? I love what Barnes' commentary says. Our faith is not destroyed. Our love is not diminished. Our hope is not blasted. But it is not a simple victory. It is not mere life and continuance of what we had before. It is more than simple triumph. It augments our faith, increases our strength, expands our love to Christ. So what that means is when we walk through disabilities, chronic pain, cancer, depression, with the circumstances that we find ourselves in, and those areas of our lives are not removed, and we begin to see above our circumstances and to find victory when we are not being that we are not being punished or left out of God's plan. We don't let them isolate us from people that can walk with us through these circumstances. We allow the Father to use us to guide, encourage, and walk with us through the long haul. But we, but how do we become more than conquerors? this happen overnight or one-time experience? I love what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 9, 24 through 27. Don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize. So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. I'm not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete training it to do what it should. Now, this does not mean you ignore your emotions or your pain or the circumstances that you find yourself in, but work through them and come to an acceptance that life may be different than we planned and that God is refining us to use for a purpose that at the beginning we may not understand or feel the circumstances are too hard to walk through. Example, participating in the martial arts for a long time, I understand a lot of what Paul is saying. I've had to adapt, to change, understand what my body can and can't do, and balance the energy I have in the workout and in sparring, to understand my strengths as well as my weaknesses, and to train my body to perform at a maximum, but not get hurt and run down. There's also a key element that is not just physical. Look at Hebrews 12.2. Let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. When our eyes are fixed on the Father and we are spending time communicating with him, our fears, our doubts, our pain, and our anger over the circumstances we find ourselves in, I find that he does bring healing to our lives with our emotions, our attitudes, and gives us the strength to move forward. An example of someone that I see as more than a conqueror is Johnny Erickson Tata. He became a quadriplegic from a diving accident in July of 1967. The first couple of years, she went through doubts, depression, and thoughts of suicide. But as you, she worked through the emotions, the pain, the loss, and how God could allow this to happen to her. Instead of pulling away from God, she chose to press into him to find a life she never thought she would have. She has now written over 40 books. She has touched the lives of millions of people worldwide with her Johnny and Friends telecast, videos of people with disabilities, and wheelchairs. She was also very instrumental in helping me see beyond my disability when I attended her disability internship in 2009. God gave me a passion to work with people with disabilities and to bring awareness to the churches through special touch ministry because of that opportunity. My question to you today Will you concentrate on the disability, pain, or loss of this experience and resist it? Or will you permit them to become an environment in which God can clearly speak to you and be a voice of his kingdom? Father, I thank you for the individuals that's watching this, Father God. I pray that you help them to become more than conquerors, even in the circumstances they find themselves in. By your power, by your strength, by your wisdom, and by your discernment, that you come alongside them as you what we are equally yoked with you, Father God, and walk with them through this to the end. In Jesus' name, amen.